Hi there, I'm Rob Collier and I'm the founder of California Drivers Advocates. Today, I would like to talk with you about limitations that are placed on your driving privilege by a restricted driver's license. The California Department of Motor Vehicles is an enormously powerful government agency. They are empowered by the California legislature to do everything from issue driver's licenses to register cars. One of the things that the DMV can do is to suspend, revoke, or restrict a driver's license as well. Most often, restricted driver's licenses occur in three categories. One is uh, following a DUI. One is following a uh, suspension for financial responsibility. And the other is for some type of medical or physical uh, restriction. So in terms of DUI, if you've been arrested for DUI, one of the common things to happen is that the DMV will suspend the driver's license for a period of time. And then if you've uh, qualified, then you can be upgraded to a restricted driver's license. Under the category of the financial responsibility, this means you've been involved in a reportable traffic collision, you did not have auto insurance, and the DMV has suspended your driver's license for one year, you are entitled to a restricted driver's license uh, during that year. And finally, medical physical suspensions. Uh, this is where perhaps you've been, um, had your license suspended because some type of a medical event has occurred and you appeared at a hearing before a California DMV hearing officer and that person has put you back on the road. However, there are limitations or restrictions to what you can, you can do or when you can operate a motor vehicle. First of all, you need to educate yourself. Be completely clear on what the restrictions are. For instance, a restricted driver's license for a DUI allows you to drive for very few things. You can drive to and from work, you can drive during the course and scope of work, and you can drive um, to and from a assigned DUI school. That restriction in the vehicle code specifically eliminates uh, pleasure driving. It doesn't allow you to drive your kids to school. It doesn't let you go to the market. So you need to be aware of what the restrictions are. In a case of a financial responsibility restriction, when you apply for the restriction, you can specifically ask for those types of things that you need to do when driving. And then with the, uh, the restrictions imposed by a hearing officer for a medical or physical thing, generally that comes down to not driving at night, not driving on the freeway, or having to file medical reports at specified times. So be aware of what your restrictions are, what the limitations are, because if you get caught driving in violation of that restriction, not only are you exposed to criminal penalties, but you can have your driving privilege suspended or revoked on top of that. So educate yourself. If this is happening to you, if you have questions, we offer free consultations. So look us up on our website or give us a call.